Friends, to turn on and off any motor, if you want to make starter, then you need to use contactor, overload relay and push buttons. And if you want to measure current also, then emitter and CT also you have to use. But friends, if you use this digital contactor, then this contactor here, it will work as a normal contactor. But along with this, this contactor will also measure the current. One more benefit of using this contactor is, we don't have to use overload relay here. It means this contactor here, it will provide the protection from overload relay also. So today through this video, let us learn what is digital contactor and how we are going to use this. Like you must have seen that in this contactor, there are two types of terminals. First is power terminals and second is control terminals. Similarly, this digital contactor I have in this contactor also, you will find power terminals and control terminals. Now, as you know that to turn on and off any contactor, we have to provide power supply to the coil of contactor. Similarly, to turn on and off this contactor also at A1 terminal phase supply and at A2 terminal neutral power supply you have to provide. Now, suppose you are using this contactor to turn on and off a motor. Then in this condition, you have to use an overload relay also. But this digital contactor I have here, you will get option of overload relay also in this. The overload relay we use in this, there is a rotary switch to set the current. Similarly, in this contactor also, there is an option to set current of overload relay. This rotary switch you can see here, through this rotary switch, from 1 ampere to 25 ampere current we can set. In this contactor, you will find one more switch through which we can set time. That is, when motor reaches overload condition, then after how much time we want our motor to get trip, this time we can also set. For setting delay time, you can use this switch. Using this knob from 1 second to 10 seconds time you can set. Now if your overload relay got trip, then in this condition by pressing the reset button you can reset it. Like you must have seen overload relay we use, in this there is NONC contact. So similarly in this contactor also you will get NONC contact of overload relay. Now besides this contactor also work as a meter. That is how much ampere current load is consuming, you will get the details here. When you look at the side of this contactor, then whole detail of this contactor you will get here. Like in these details you can see, to turn on and off the contactor, we can use from 100 volts to 240 volts AC power supply. Now friends, let us understand that how we are going to do wiring of this contactor. We will do wiring of this contactor same as like DOL starter. What we have to do, this phase supply we have, first of all connect this with the fuse. So in place of fuse, I am using a MCB here. Now from this MCB, power supply which goes, it will go to NC contact of overload relay. So I am using a wire here, connect one end of the wire with phase terminal. Now take other end of wire and this contact here of overload relay with common terminal of this contact, connect this wire. Now from output of overload relay, power supply must go to stop push button. So here I am using a stop push button. Now we will take a wire and in this overload relay with NC contact connect this wire. Now take other end of this wire and with stop push button connect this wire. Now from this stop push button power supply must go to start push button. Now here we will use a start push button. Now here what we have to do in this stop push button with output terminal we will connect a wire and we will connect this wire with input terminal of start push button. Now after this, what we will do, this start push button here with output terminal of this connect a wire and in this contactor with A1 terminal connect this wire. So through this wire, I am doing the connection. Now we have to make only holding circuit. To make holding circuit, I am using this wire. I am taking this wire and in this start push button with input terminal, I am connecting this wire. After this, Take other end of wire and in this contactor with common terminal, connect this wire. After this, what we have to do, this NO terminal here, from output of this, connect a wire to A1 terminal. So through this wire, I am connecting these. Now we have to only connect neutral power supply to this contactor. For this, what we will do, this MCB here, in this MCB, where we get neutral power supply, from here, connect a wire. Take other end of this wire and in this contactor with A2 terminal, 
connect this wire. So friends wiring of this contactor is now completed. Friends here I am connecting a load also so that this contactor here can measure current also. Now I am turning on the MCB. After turning on MCB if we want to turn on this contactor then for this we have to press start push button. When we press this contactor takes some time to turn on. It takes time here because it gets reset. After getting reset you can see contactor is turned on. When our contactor is turned on you can see this out indication here it started glowing. Now contactor is on so heater which I connected before it started showing load of this. You can see here it is showing current values. Right now my heater is consuming 5.7 ampere current. Now I want that if my heater is consuming 6 ampere current then this contactor must trip. For this we have to do some setting here. For setting simply what you have to do this current knob here you have to rotate this. When I rotate this you can see in first display it is showing value. So I am setting this on 6. This 6 here means that when my load starts taking 6 ampere current then this contactor will trip. After this we have one more switch through which we can set the time also. That is when my load starts taking more current than in this condition till how much time this contactor must wait before going to trip you can do this setting also here. Right now you can see here 10 seconds time is already set. If you want to reduce this time then simply rotate this and whatever time you want to set you can set here. I am setting the time as 5 seconds. My load is taking 5.6 ampere current so I am reducing the current rating little bit. I am setting this on 5 ampere. You will see when 5 seconds is completed after 5 seconds contactor will turn off automatically. You can see contactor is turned off. Thanks for watching this video.